Yahoo Sports NFL this week is brought to you by Speed Stick Stain Guard. Helps fight yellow stains. Terrell Owens and Chad Ochocinco will provide plenty of drama for the Bengals this season, but will that dynamic duo add up to a winning formula in Cincy? I'm Larry Beal, joined by Yahoo Sports NFL analyst Tiki Barber and Yahoo's NFL writer Jason Cole. Hey Tiki, plain and simple, will putting these two guys together work for the Bengals offense or merely drive Carson Palmer insane? <laughs> I, I was trying to anticipate what your question was going to be. Well, putting these two guys together, drive up ratings for the Cincinnati Bengals? Absolutely. But will it work for their offense? I'm not so sure. Last year, they truly struggled in their passing offense. Cedric Benson had a phenomenal season in the running game and on the ground for them offensively. But their pass game struggled. And with Ocho Cinco getting a little bit older, Terrell Owens definitely being old and having an unproductive season last year in Buffalo, I don't see how this truly helps him. It may Maybe it diversifies a little bit, gets people spreading out, not focusing on Ocho Cinco so much, but I don't think this helps them in a significant way at all. Jason, do you agree? I mean, Cincinnati went 10-6 and six last year, but they were in the bottom five in the league in their passing offense. Will the addition of T.O. help? I think it can only help, and I think that not only T.O., but when you add in Antonio Bryant and first-round pick Jermaine Gresham, the tight end, they've got some legitimate weapons there now, as opposed to last season when Really, by the end of the year, when they didn't have Chris Henry anymore and they didn't have anybody who could play within that, that red zone, all, they, all the opposing teams had to do was roll coverage towards uh, Chad Ochocinco, and, and they couldn't throw the ball at all. You know, Carson Palmer said last year, or said you know, this last week, that last year was extremely frustrating for him. But he's looking forward to what he sees out there, looking forward to the three and four wide receiver formations that they can throw out there. And most importantly, he likes the fact that he's got some characters who can kind of take the uh, the limelight away from him. Well, we, no shortage of characters, that's for sure. But Tiki, uh, you've been all in the locker rooms, right? How long before one of these guys starts complaining? And which one will it be? I don't think it's going to be about them getting balls. I think the Cincinnati Bengals found great success last year running the ball, putting it on the ground and not having to rely on Carson Palmer throwing the ball 45 times a game and being the savior every week. I think they're going to stick with that formula this year. I mean, they, they, they had great success last year doing it. Why change it now, uh, especially with some of the, the, the challenges that they're going to face in the AFC this year? I, I think the trouble comes about midway through the season when neither one of these guys has the production that they're expecting and the reality show that I'm sure that they're planning mm. is not coming through as easily as they thought that was you know, I gotta say that uh, you know Tiki I sort of agree with you but I think that the first sign of problem will be if they ever have a losing streak and these guys aren't getting the ball that's what's really gonna be the problem as long as the team is winning I think these guys are gonna be okay but look this is the Bengals you know when was the last time they were a really good team back-to-back -back years. I mean, Tiki, I'm not sure if you were born yet when that happened. <laughs> you might have to go back to the Chris Collinsworth era. All right. Uh, real quick, Tiki, do the Bengals make the playoffs? I think they do make the playoffs this year. I think they have a solid enough base from what they did last year. And most importantly, a confidence. They've been struggling for so many years. But now to feel like they have the right coach in place, they have the right components in place, uh, if they can hang on and, as Jason said, not get into one of those losing streaks, they will make the playoffs. How far they go, to be determined. Jason, do they make the playoffs? And is this a hit for VH1? <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be a monster hit for VH1. <laughs> Can't wait for that. As for the playoffs... Yeah, I think that they make it. I like this team a lot. And it's the toughest division in football, in my opinion, when you throw in Baltimore and Pittsburgh there. So it's not going to be easy to get out of the division. But I really like the team. I like what they have on defense with Leon Hall and Jonathan Joseph. And we, we, don't t we didn't talk about that at all. But I think that that's a strength. And if, as long as they can get to around 24 points a game, which I think is really possible, they should make the playoffs. All right, guys, this is Yahoo Sports coverage of the NFL.